Hey, morning guys. Uh, this is first yo-yo video. It's a couple of challenges. We're gonna make the base of the yo-yo today. Uh, it's six ten, so it's about ten minutes to do this. So we're gonna make it quick. Uh, this is what we'll be making. Just the base of the yo-yo. Let's see if we can rotate it. Oh, fun. It is frozen. Okay. All right, so first thing we do is we create a sketch. Um, we're gonna select rectangle. Just click at the center, the origin point right there. We want our yo-yo to be about 2.5 uh, inches in diameter total. So we're gonna set this first dimension uh, to 1.25 inches. So press D on the keyboard to get the dimension tool. Enter 1.25 inches. Uh, then press enter. We're going to do the exact same dimension, or we're going to do half of that dimension. Nope. We're going to do, uh, excuse me, we're going to do 0 0.75 inches on the other dimension. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in. Next thing we're going to do, so we're making a sketch that we're going to revolve around the center axis. This will allow us to uh, create a very quick yo-yo body. All right, so we're gonna add another one uh, from the top of the sketch to the bottom. Press the dimension tool again. Okay, we're gonna make this dimension 0 0.125 inches. Okay, after you've done that, uh, we're going to add another line, this, this time along the bottom. Right there. Okay, press the dimension tool again. This is going to be 0 0.125 inches as well. Okay, then we're going to add a couple more lines. So we're making the lip for the yo-yo uh, insert that you guys are designing. Um, this lip is what your insert will rest on. So add two more lines. Then we're going to add dimensions to those as well. This time we're going to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, since we're going to be injection molding this, it's important to try to keep all of the wall thicknesses roughly the same. So, let's see. Oops, we don't want that dimension. Oh boy. All right. Uh, let's see. There we go. Got to delete that. Uh, press the dimension shortcut, which is D on the keyboard again. Then we are making this dimension 0.125. Okay, after we've done that, we're going to add a spot for a bolt to go through the body of the yo-yo. So we need to add a place for the bolt to connect. So we're going to add two more lines. All right, so after you've created those two lines, dimension tool again, we're going to make the height of this first line 0 0.125 inches. We're going to make the width of the second line equal to 0 0.1875. Uh, all these numbers are uh, fairly convenient. We can later on we'll find bolts on McMaster and we'll insert them into the components. But for today we're just making the basic body and we're going to show you a couple of tools. So, all right. So after that we have at this point all of our dimensions. Now we're going to trim off uh, some of the extra extra stuff that we don't need. But first let's get the sketch in the correct position. So go to the bottom of Fusion 360, there's a little hand. This is the pan tool, so go ahead and click on this. Uh, it's very difficult to use Fusion 360 without a mouse. I'm currently just using the trackpad, but I suggest getting a mouse if you don't have one. All right, so I've gotten it in position. Now I don't want to use the pan tool anymore, so I'm gonna press escape. After I've done that, we're going to go up here to the toolbar and use the trim feature. So use trim, we're gonna cut off all the excess. So right here, we don't need this line. We're gonna trim that one, that one, and that one, and let's see one more. There we go. Okay, and so you can start to see what we're gonna actually revolve around this center axis right here. Okay, so Fusion 3 is giving us a warning. Essentially, we just deleted some uh, some lines that we had given dimensions to, and typically. 
uh, we, it's okay for our purposes. Uh, if you do too many, if you cut too many lines in uh, Fusion 360, you'll have to, uh, on dimension, certain things, or it'll leave the dimension, but it'll no longer be constrained to that dimension. So if you potentially change something else, it could cause issues down the line. But for us, we should be fine. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now we're going to click Finish Sketch. Then we're going to go to up to this Create under the Solid tab. We're going to correct, click Revolve. So click Revolve. Then click, uh, you should have Profile selected on this Revolve tab that just came up. We're going to select this Profile. Then we're going to select the axis to revolve around. So that's going to be this center line right here. All right. And we're going to go to the pan tool and take a look. Let's just quickly observe, take a look at what this is producing. Uh, click on the box up here. This will allow it to rotate since we don't have a, um, a mouse. Okay. So we've created the world's ugliest yo-yo body, but we're not done. Okay. Uh, so for now... We're just going to go back and click OK. Uh, so press Escape, then press OK. So Escape will get us back to this Revolve uh, tab that opened. All right, so let's take another look. Again, the ugliest yo-yo body known to man, but we are not done. OK, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and save just so we don't lose our work. So save, we're going to call this yo-yo. Uh, Yo-Yo uh, -Yo Body version 1. And then I created a folder called Toys for Schools. Toys for School. Okay. Now what we're going to do is beautify this a little bit. Let's go to... We're going to use the Fillet tool. So go ahead and click Fillet right here. Uh, fillets are a fantastic way to sort of round out your designs. It makes designs look a little bit better so I'm going to go click on this bottom edge I'm going to drag in until it says uh, 0.5 inches you see if I go too far then I'm going to start deleting too much material we don't want to do that so we're going to do 0 0.5 inches I'm going to press OK All right, after that we're going to select a different edge we're going to do the exact same thing so we'll go back to fill it up here and click on this top edge Okay, so you see again, if we go too far, we start getting some weird geometries. Fusion 360 starts complaining, so we don't want to do too much. We're going to do 0 0.1 inches, and then we're going to press OK. All right, and we have most of a super ugly yo-yo body, no longer crazy ugly. Uh, we're not going to go ahead and fillet these inside edges at this point. Uh, I don't think we will in general. Uh, but this is giving a good idea of what our final yo-yo body is. So the next thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to inspect and find out what this inner dimension is. So we want to have a dimension that we can use to make our yo-yo inserts, which we'll do another day. So go ahead, click on measure in the uh, top right here. So measure. Gonna click and it'll say our radius down here is 1.125 inches. So that's after we clicked on this inner diameter of the yo-yo. So that means that our yo-yo insert is going to at max be uh, 1.25 inches. Or we're going to actually use something called an interference fit. So um, in engineering, a lot of the times we think of materials as being um, springs to some extent. And so if you have an interference fit, we would say have the interior of the yo-yo uh, fit or the interior the outer diameter of our yo-yo insert be the exact same or slightly more than the inner diameter of our yo-yo base and so the idea is that uh, if we press really hard we can force the um, yo-yo base to accept a slightly larger insert and so uh, sort of the snapback of the yo-yo base is going to get a really tight grip on the insert that we make. And so we'd be able to keep it in place without using any fasteners. So it's a cool idea. Interference fits are incredibly useful. All right, so we're gonna press close after we've inspected. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a tiny little hole for a shaft. So let's go to sketch. We're gonna rotate our drawing or an object. Then we're going to go ahead and pan. 
Okay, and then let's zoom out. Okay, so go ahead and click Create Sketch. Then we're going to select the top of the yo-yo. After we've done that, we're going to create a circle. So click on Circle, then click at the center point of the yo-yo. All right, now we're going to dimension it. So press D on the keyboard. And we have 0 0.1 is going to be our, dimension, our diameter. So do that. All right, press Finish Sketch. Oh, actually, we're going to make it 0 0.125. All right, so we went down to the bottom. We right-clicked on Sketch. Then we went up to Edit. Uh, we're going to press D to get back to the dimension. We'll click on that dimension, 0 0.125. Okay, Finish Sketch. Now we're going to do Extrude. Click on that sketch we just made. We're going to rotate. And we're going to pull the um, extrusion through the sketch through the body of the yo-yo, so that will create a hole for us. So it'll be a negative extrude. All right, next thing we're gonna do. Um, so at this point, we're essentially done with half of our yo-yo. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna start looking at our inserts. But for right now, we're going to make our yo-yo look a little bit prettier. So we'll go from world's ugliest yo-yo to uh, it isn't so bad. All right, so what we're doing, what I just did here, is I clicked on Open the Body tab. Uh, I right-clicked on Body, and I go to Physical Material. So we're going to change it from a steel, and we're going to make it a plastic. So we're going to go ahead and go down. There's a plastic folder right here. I'd already clicked on it previously, so it's open. Uh, the plastic we're going to be injection molding with is polypropylene. Uh, it's a very common plastic. It's probably the most common plastic. Um, available so we're going to scroll down until we find it ah, there it is all right so once you've found it you go ahead and click on it and drag and put it on the model you'll see that the model has changed colors slightly so that's good it's a good sign that it applied we're going to close all right and so what's the benefit of doing this well um, if we assign a material to our body then we can use fusion 360 to determine how much uh, well, one, Fusion 360 can calculate uh, the volume of whatever we've made, uh, and then two, we can figure out how much the weight of it um, as a result because we have material properties that Fusion 360 design, uh, has for polypropylene, uh, and the result is we can use that information to do a bunch of different calculations. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, next thing we're going to do, we're going to give it a color. So go right-click on body again, go to appearance, and then we're going to uh, scroll through this list. We'll find paint. So go to under paint, under glossy, go ahead and choose a color. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose, let's see, red, since I, well, I did red before. I'm going to choose black. This black is interesting, but feel free to choose a color that you would like. Uh, we'll have a couple of colors available when we do injection molding. All right, so just click and drag it onto the yo-yo, then click close. Uh, we can see that our yo-yo is now a beautiful blackish color, and we're done. So at this point, uh, to turn in your assignment, just go ahead and take a screenshot, uh, Shift-Command-4 on the Mac, and upload it to Google Classroom, and then we will do our next part of the assignment for today. All right, good job. Uh, see you in class.